Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to send Shopify order cancellation notifications to customers on WhatsApp using WhatsApp Cloud API. So imagine that you own an e-commerce store in Shopify and whenever any order is cancelled in your e-commerce store, you want to inform the same to your customers on their WhatsApp including the order details, something like the order is cancelled, hello, your order, the order name with order ID this has been cancelled. For any query, you can reach out to our team at this, this, this email address. But the problem here is Shopify and WhatsApp do not have any direct connection. That is why in order to build a connection in between these two applications, I am going to use an integration and automation software Pabli Connect with the help of which we are going to set this automation. So just watch this video till end and you will be also able to create this automation for your e-commerce store. Open your browser first and type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pabli.com slash connect and press enter and you will reach to the landing page of that automation software. Now from this blue button, create your free account. The account creation is absolutely free and you will also get 100 free tasks so that you can actually create this automation for free. Now I am going to sign in since I already have an account in that. Click on access now and you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect from where we are going to start creating our automation, our workflow. Click on this blue button, give any random name to your workflow. I am giving the name as order cancellation notification. Okay, order cancellation notification to customers. Okay, all right. It's looking good. Click on create and you will see two boxes. Okay, these are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this understand with an example whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application another example when a form is submitted let's say google form application share a file via google drive application according to our use case when the order is cancelled in shopify application send a notification to customers on whatsapp okay we will do this whatsapp step later for now i am going to set up my shopify account basically we are going to integrate shopify with the public connect this is going to be our first step in trigger event choose order cancellation trigger event okay Whenever the order is cancelled, we want to capture the data in Pabli Connect. Well, you can see this is the webhook URL with the help of which we are going to build a connection. And these are the instructions given here. You can follow them one by one. Let me tell you, you will have to copy it. Go back to your Shopify account. And here, under the settings, click on settings. Click on notification. Where is the notification section? Well, you will find the notification here at the left hand side. Okay. And here you will find the webhook option. Go down and you can see here is the option to create webhook. Click on that and uh, choose the event. Here again, the event will be order cancellation. Okay. Here is the order cancellation event. Paste this URL. Which URL? Which we have just received from Public Connect. Paste this URL and here choose the latest version. Okay. And click on save and you will see our webhook has been saved successfully. Now go back to Public Connect and see what is written over there. Log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission or record. So basically in order to test whether this connection is working fine or not, we are going to test a submission. Here our test submission is basically the order cancellation. That is why I will again go to to my Shopify account and here I'm going to open my online store where it is here it is the online store open it here firstly I am going to place an order and then cancel it so that public connect will capture the cancellation order details okay so let me go to catalog section assume that I am purchasing this mic okay okay buy it now so this dummy customer is placing the order here is the email address of that customer let's place the order okay click on continue now add the dummy card details one okay now click on pay now 
the order is being processed you can see the person name dummy has been placed an order now i am going to cancel this particular order so let's go to our shopify account go to orders and let me find this particular order and you can see the dummy name here is the order i am going to cancel this particular order okay let's open it and here is the option to cancel this order let's cancel this but first let me check the public connect as you can see it is waiting for the order cancellation okay so let me cancel the order okay refund will be later cancel the order let's wait you can see the order has been cancelled come back to public connect and wait for the response the order cancellation response and you can see the order cancellation detail has been arrived okay let me show you the details okay so this is the email address where are the other details well we have actually received a lot and lot of details the number is here the price is here so all the details are actually here here is the detail of the customer so our first step of integration is actually done now we want to send the order notification basically the order cancellation notification to our customers for that i am going to choose the whatsapp cloud api with the help of which i am going to send the whatsapp messages to the customers well whatsapp cloud api is the official api of whatsapp which facebook has has recently launched action event send template message click on connect and you will have to click on add new connection and it will be asking you few details token phone number id and whatsapp business account id so for connecting this you will need three details open your browser type developers.facebook.com in your browser and press enter and this is how you will reach to the landing page of whatsapp cloud api okay now firstly you will have to create your account the account creation is free i am going to click on my apps and you will see i will be logged in directly because i already have an account once you will reach to the dashboard the very first thing you will have to do is to create an app and generate a permanent token this is how you can actually do the setup of whatsapp cloud api well i have attached a separate video for the same in the description box of this particular video i would recommend you to watch that video first to set up your whatsapp cloud api account create an app and then come back here okay you can see my app is here i'm going to click on my app which i have created already in advance okay that is why i am actually not creating the apps from scratch and at the left hand side click on whatsapp click on getting started and you will find all those three details which are actually required in building up the connection okay so what is that first one is the token okay so i am going to use this particular token well it is the temporary access token and it will expire in 23 hours as i have just told you you need to generate a permanent token for that in order to send the actual messages to your customers here is the phone number id copy it and paste it what's a business account id you will find it here copy it and paste it here okay now going to click on save and you can see we are actually connected so whatsapp always asks you to create a message template first get it approved via facebook then only you can actually initiate the conversation with your customers let me show you my whatsapp cloud api account under the step 2 section you will find this here option okay click here and you will find the template section here i have already created several templates in my account and even get them approved already you can see these are the template names the category and you can see all of them are approved 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 let me show you my template which i have actually created for this particular video for sending the order cancellation messages you can see order cancel update this is my message template i have added the header text in my template you can see the preview of my message here and the message you can compose actually from this section you can view it you can preview it 
Now you must be thinking, what is this one, two, three within the curly braces? Well, whatever the values I know that are going to change, I have kept these values in the form of variable, and you will find that variable add option here only while creating the template. Because this template is already created, that is why that option is not actually showing here right now. And I have even added two buttons here from here. Okay, you can see the button option is here. And once you will compose your message, do not forget to add the samples. What are samples? Basically, whatever the variables we are adding in our template, we will have to provide a dummy values while creating the app then only your app will be approved lots of people face this difficulty that they create the template but their template is not actually got approved because they forgot to add the sample. For now, I'm going back to Public Connect and here, let's choose my template. The name of my template is Order Cancellation Update. Okay, Order Cancel Update. Keep the language code, select template ID as it is. Now recipient mobile number and these three details. What are body field one? two and three remember i have just told you that i have kept three variables in my template and those fields are actually these variables only let's fill them one by one basically i need to fill the above data which i have received from shopify to the whatsapp cloud api but i do not have to actually copy the details manually and paste it here simply click on this field and you will find the above data here only and this is called as mapping in public connect whatever the value we are going to map here from this drop down is going to change every time based on new entry let's map the details the name of the customer let me actually search it because there are actually lot of data here is the name Second value is the product ID, basically the product name. Let me search for name and you will find the product name also where it is. Well, I have I have ordered this microphone. Okay, going to select the same. The last one is the order ID. Click here, open this and you can see here is the order ID. Now, what is left? The recipient mobile number, basically to whom we would like to send the messages. We would like to send the messages to the customers whose order has just got cancelled. Okay, but before I map the number of the customer, let me read this instructions. Enter the recipient mobile number with the country code without plus sign. That means WhatsApp Cloud API wants the number in this particular format. Then only it will send the messages to the customers. Now, if the customer has provided you the country code without plus sign, then it is really good. If he has not, then you'll have to mention on your checkout page somewhere. Please provide the number along with the country code without plus sign. And that number should be, of course, a WhatsApp number. Then only you will be able to send the WhatsApp message to your customers. Okay, this is the tip from my side. You will have to mention somewhere about this format. Let me map my number. I have added the number. Now let's go down. Click on save and send test request. And let me see what is the response. Yes, you can see the response is received, which means the customer has actually received the message. Let me open my WhatsApp web. Well, I have opened my WhatsApp web in order to show you the message. Let me open that message and you can see order is cancelled. Hello, the dummy name, your order microphone with order ID. This has been cancelled. For any query, you can reach out to our team at this. Regards, Pabli Store. And this is the button for shop for more products and talk to our team. And you can see how did I actually manage to send the automated cancellation notification from my Shopify store. Okay. Well, you can also do this. Follow my tutorial. Okay. I will add the link of this particular workflow in my description box so that you can directly clone the same workflow in your account. And by simply connecting your applications, you can actually create this automation. And generally people ask me that do they really need to do the setup again and again? No, let me tell you, once you have created this automation in Public Connect, simply close it because the job of the Public Connect is in the back end. And whenever now onwards the order is cancelled, the notifications will be sent 
automatically. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect and for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.